All right, Dave, what do we have here? Well, we have an M1 bayonet that was manufactured by Oneida Limited in 1943. But one of the things that you'll notice on these markings here is that it is not a cut down. This is a small variation within the manufacturing when they made the transition over from the 16 inch bayonet uh -huh. to the 10 inch bayonet. Uh -huh. And you can tell that the fuller goes all the way up right before the blade and does not continue on some of the cut downs. Yeah. And you can also look on the other side and see okay. that you have the cross cannon markings as proof mark that it meets some of the, the tests when they um, do some of the, uh, the steel strength mm -hmm. that's done on the bayonets for acceptance. But among collectors, this is really considered the holy grail of the, of the M1 bayonet because Again, it's marked 1943, and it's a 10-inch production. And some of the things that you look for yes. to determine that it is an actual manufactured one and not a reproduction is when you look on the side of the blade, you can actually see the rough machine marks extending all the way down here, going all the way up, Okay. to the hilt and obviously passing up to the rest of the blade. So you can see all these machine marks, mm -hmm. very, very similar to uh, a lot of wear that you would see on some you know, Winchester machinery yeah. Yeah, for yeah, yeah, um, yeah. where they would produce the, the M, M1 Garand as well. So that's one of the main things and of course the, the numbers are a lot larger than the reproductions out there. Yes. And the OL for Oneida Limited, there's no dots at the end mm -hmm. so of the letters. No O dot L dot. It's or an O, -L. o dot. You know, yeah. I've seen some that have dots on them, others that didn't. Yes. And the 1943 mm -hmm. is a lot smaller. But again, the main thing on this is to look for the rough machine marks. Mm -hmm. That's how you can tell. And that goes all the way down. So with the new or er, the reproductions, they it'd just be plain smooth. Plain smooth. Yep. And of course, you can look at the the difference on the plastic grips. They they look um, a lot more a lot newer. Yeah, where these are a lot older. Now you can always change the plastic grips. the plastic grips around to make it look make it look more authentic. However, um, again, the main thing is the machining marks. Yeah. And that's how you can really tell. Now one of the uh, members has a reproduction. Yes. Oh, well, bayonet. Mm -hmm. So I did examine it. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have it here to yeah. do a side-by-side -side comparison. But this is one of the best ways to really tell. So if you look at a 1943 that has been cut down, you can see where the fuller goes all the way to the tip. Oh well, 1943, mm -hmm. and then right there. Mm -hmm. And again, you can look at the rough machine marks again. Yes. And this has been reparkerized after it was cut down by American Fork and Hoe. You can see the yes. AFH stamp there. So that's why it's n the rough machining marks is not going to be as pronounced as it is on the M1 bayonet exactly. because this has been parkerized again. Okay. Okay. And 
for those who really like Oneida Limited, you can look at one that is just an Oneida Limited without the 1943 date stamp. Yep, it just has Oval and then mm -hmm. US, uh, U.S. worded at Spog. Exactly. And again, this one is in rougher condition. And if you notice, the plastic grips are fairly the same, and you can always change them out. Mm -hmm. But I always keep them in the same condition in which I receive them. Yeah. And again, you machine can see marks. the machine marks, and a lot of that has been worn down from use. But you can really see it extensively here on the blade. Nice. Now for uh, you bayonet collectors, when you have a bayonet like this, whether it be Springfield, Mauser, any type of bayonet, do not sharpen it. It's do your own not. property. You can do whatever you want with it. Yes. You know, if you want, you can be Robert McNamara and snap it in half and just destroy the value of it. But just to maintain the value, do not alter the condition. Yeah, do not sharpen it. Yeah. Because it actually goes up in value over the years. Yes, because according apparently they're not making any more. Yeah. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic collection, David. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>